In part one of the Quick Office review, we showed you the basics. In part two, we're going to show you how to email documents, how to manage your documents via Wi Fi and a web browser, and how to look at your documents and edit your documents via MobileMe. Once you've got these documents here, you can email them. And so I'm going to hit the little email button, and I'm going to select this Quick Office document here, and I'm going to hit send. And we're going to send this to Mr. Pence at tapcritic.com. If it's here, it's not. Mr. Pence at tapcritic.com. And the cool thing is, well, I need to change that. So let's go over here. It's weird that the magnifying comes up there, but it doesn't uh, anywhere else. Okay. Anyway, so here it is. And I've got it set as a preset to put a hyperlink in here. Um, it puts a hyperlink to where it will open up. If another person has Quick Office on their iPhone, it will open up uh, in Quick Office, which is pretty cool. So let's let's go to our mail real quick, and let's check our mail here. And look, here's my Quick Office document. I'm going to select this. If you look down here, here is the hyperlink. So you could send documents and Excel spreadsheets uh, to other iPhone users that will actually open up in uh, Quick Office. So we're going to select this and we're going to copy. It takes it right into Quick Office and there it is. Opens it and it highlights it and we click it here and it opens it right up. So this is really cool. I mean the ability to send documents, you know, two other iPhone users and the ability for them to open them, open it up right in Quick Office is pretty incredible. Um, as of right now, the only way to open up a Word or Excel document uh, via your mail is if the Quick Office link is in there. So this is your main screen. You saw the email option. Uh, you can add a new folder up here to sort your things through. You can move <clears throat> your documents to uh, different folders or copy them to different folders. Um, this was the email option. This is, you know, if you want to trash something here, um, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to delete this one here. Select this and hit delete, and it's done. Um, and then this here just allows you to start a new spreadsheet, a new document, or a new text file. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now what I'd like to show you <clears throat> is right now we've got uh, a connection here. Uh, it tells us where to see the iPhone on Wi-Fi and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to manage what's in Quick Office uh, with a web browser. So here we are on our browser and we're going to go to the uh, web address that Quick Office has given us. Right now I don't have it password protected but you can easily set up a login and password. And looky here, here's all of our files that's on our iPhone. So not only for $19.99 do you get uh, the whole Quick Office suite, you also get a way to manage your files with Quick Office uh, via Wi Fi. So, it, let's say for example, we wanted to download this document here. We click it and we hit download, and it'll ask us where to save it. We're just going to hit save file, and there it goes. Um, uploading is really easy. I'm going to upload a job estimate template here and just go to my desktop. And let's look here. Where is it? It's right here. And it's showing up over here. And now we're going to hit upload. And it's that simple. As you see, it's right here, which is really cool. So now we're going to go back to the iPhone and see what it looks like. So we've transferred our file to the iPhone. And as you see, it's right here. It's the job estimate template. It's a pretty complex. Uh, Excel spreadsheet and look it loads relatively quickly and let me uh, let the landscape here change there we go I'm going to zoom this out and move up and you can see sort of what everything looks like here and there it is you know here's here's the Excel spreadsheet you know the ability to be able to do estimates or any kind of Excel uh, calculations mobily is incredible 
And this is one of my favorite features of Quick Office Mobile Suite. Uh, you know, both the Excel and the, uh, the document program here, the Word document program, is incredible. Uh, I don't think you'll be starting a lot of uh, documents with this application, but I do think you'll be using this stuff in the field or making changes to, you know, a speech or a paper or doing estimates out in the field. It's pretty incredible. So that transferred really awesome. Uh, now I'd like to show you the iDisk. Uh, I've set up my iDisk here, and we're going to click it and look at the... Uh, public folder here and I've put the same uh, document in the public folder here as you see it's right here but before I do that I'd like to show you another cool feature like right now I've got pictures on my disk this is a 2.9 megabyte picture and I'm gonna click this here you know we're on Wi-Fi right now so it's pretty quick I'd like to see what it does over 3G but still the ability to look at your pictures quickly on your iDisk and this is a pretty sizable picture you know, like I said, this is a 2.9 megabyte uh, picture here. Pretty awesome. Um, this is an old derby picture. But still, the ability to really get your pictures quickly uh, is really a neat feature. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to our job estimate template, and here it is. And boom, it's loaded up again, right off my iDisk. So the ability, you know, once again, I was, as I was stating earlier, people can't email you uh, Excel or Word documents if it doesn't have that uh, quick office link. But what you could do is just have them put it, put it on your iDisk. And once it's on your iDisk, you can download it there immediately and uh, tweak it and save it and do all that. So this is quick office. This is, this is a quick office mobile suite. It's $19.99. It's on the iTunes app store. And if you do any kind of you know, you know, word revisions or, you know, in-field estimates with Excel. Uh, this application is a must-have. Uh, the ability to transfer your files via Wi-Fi in a web browser is incredible. Um, the, the folks at QuickOffice, they've just done a great job. You know, the only gripes I would have are a few, and that's a spell checker, um, you know, the, the double space adding a period. And maybe in the future, we can get really cool and find a way to print uh, this stuff right from QuickOffice. So anyway, uh, it's $19.99 on the iTunes App Store. Uh, I highly recommend this app if you do this kind of work and you need it uh, mobily. And um, every upgrade that they've made has been something that's been pretty special. And I bet you that the little gripes I had will we'll see uh, resolved in a future upgrade. So this has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com. And we'll see you soon.